what up guys it's 63z and i'm waiting for parent to come back so i think i may as well show you some of the ins and outs of the case i've actually got this is going to be a different video of how to put in the optical drives and take off the optical drive covers how to put in the ssd as well as how to put in the hard disk drives as well as how to mount the hidden hard disk drives and ssds on the very back of the case i'm going to start off with probably the more simpler things uh, the simply is the hard drive and the ssd hard drive is you click this thing in right here as you will see right here, I'll pull it out and you just literally pull it out. Okay, so when it's in there, it's going to be just like that. You see this little tab here? You click it there and you fling it out. When you're trying to put the hard disk drives in, you simply got to click this thing. So you see this right here? You pull it and it just comes right out like that. You take it out and you do that for both sides and you simply just line up the holes with the hard drives and pop it back in and click it back in like that. So that's how to put in the hard drive. And then just simply slide it back in, facing that way. Click it back over, and it's in. Now with the SSD, it's a bit different. So the SSD, we'll take mine out for the time being. These, it's not a dedicated SSD two and a half incher. They're all three and a half inch bays that can be modified to be a two and a half inch bay. So as you'll see here, my SSD is in here. But as you'll see on the back, it's got four little holes. One there, one there, one there, and one there. It's simply, you get given the screws in the box and you just screw in the SSD on the very back of it and to go in, you put it in like that. So all this is facing out the front because there's certain power supplies. And you just do the same thing if you want to put it in the cages. Now what I did is I'm undone the cage back here. So this one just slides right out like that. Now I'm going to turn this around to show you how to mount the hidden. Wait, hold up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around to show you how to mount the hidden hard disk drives and SSD bays. And then I'll show you the optical drives. Okay, so now you're looking at the back of the case right here, and you'll see these two little dangly parts. There's only two of them, so choose wise. Now there's a couple of different ways you can have it on there. Is one, you have it facing outwards, like that, and you just try and click it in the best you can, like that. Right? Now I'll get a close up for you in a second. But you can also do it the backwards way. Actually, we'll start off closer so you can properly see. <laughs> okay, so we've got the SSD right in here. Basically what happens... Okay, so I've got it out. Now you can either put it in facing in this way, which is as simple as... You see these little ends right here? They're rounded. They're rounded ends. And you see these little hooks? They're kind of like hooked in. If you have the case, you'll know what I mean. So what you've got to do is put it in like that. Best you can, so... So put it on like that and you pull it down. Literally as easy as that. So I'll do it one more time for you. So you put it on there, just like that, so that both of these little hooks are on the inside of the cage, as you can see. So you see this hook right here? I'm, I'm pushing it in so it's on the inside of the cage, and then what I'm doing is simply just pushing it back as I'm lifting it up a slight bit so it stays in the center of it it clicks in like that. Now it will click in here with this little um, notch right here. If you want to take it out you simply hold that down and you lift up and it comes off. Now it works the exact same way for hard drives as well as SSD so go right ahead. Now to do the optical drives. So I'll move this to the bed actually because that way you get a better look at it. Don't mind all the mess back here and that's just my dinner. So as you'll be able to see with mine, my two are already in. But if yours aren't already in, okay so if you've just gotten the case you haven't got these in just yet and you might not know how to get this front part off. What you gotta do is simply grab it from the bottom, as well as grab it from the top, and just give it a nice little pull like that. It's not gonna break, because with the front part of this, as you'll see when you pull it off, these edges right here, they're rounded. So no matter how hard you pull, it's not gonna yank too hard on it, right? So when you get this out, it's gonna look a lot like this. So when you get yours out, it's gonna be just like this. It's gonna have these two little things there that aren't actually the optical drive openings. You open it to the back, and you see that it's two spots covered with foam. That's if you don't necessarily want optical drives, you can use that as a fan filter. But what you do to open it, okay, so what you do to open it, is really, you see these two little hitches right here? So if you have them, if you have it, you'll know that there's a hitch right here. You hold that and the adjacent one, and you pull them outwards, and you lift up, like that. Right, so I'll do it again. You have the two tabs, both of your thumbs, Pull your fingers from underneath and you push up and it will pop out of place. Should pop out of place, there we go. 
both of them. And then it's as simple as sliding them straight in. Well, maybe not that simple, hold on. Background this way. So I'll take one of mine out. I'll take out my Blu-ray player. Okay. So you got your optical drive and you've got your hard drive bay. Now when you pop, when you just literally line it up to go straight in the front, and as it's going in, you'll see stuff start to move. And you'll see when it starts to get a bit forceful. When it does that, you grab this little tab here that's movable, you push it in, and you gently push it back in again until it starts to move back. Okay, so once it gets to the forceful point, you've got to push it in, and you just gotta kind of push it back a bit more, use a bit more force for it, and it will eventually slide back out of place. If it goes too far back, don't worry, that can happen. And then it's just, if it does go all too far back, all you do is simply push it forward, and it will click into place. So you can't push it out any further, can't push it back in any further, because it's clicked in through this. If you want to take it out, you simply push that, and pull. But that is it for this video, for the uh, Thermaltake VH, well, V51 case. It is absolutely huge, monstrous, and I don't think I have any other video ideas for while I'm waiting for parents. So if you like this, press like. If you learned something, press like. If you hated it, dislike and tell me why. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Here we go. Today's Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday. I'll have another video for Wednesday. Uh, which will most likely be on Taylor 2 live stream. And then this will go up Thursday to find time to edit it in the past. So thank you guys for watching. This is the last part of this video in general. I'm going to go to record my first video.